To maintain safety and hammer longevity, it is important to follow a daily and weekly inspection checklist. Verify the hammer serial number. The serial number is stamped into the main body just below the control valve. When ordering replacement parts, provide the serial number to your NPK dealer. To manually grease hammers without an auto lube system, first position the hammer in a vertical position. Apply downforce to push the tool all the way in. This prevents grease from entering the piston strike chamber. Greasing the hammer without downforce applied is detrimental to the hammer. Without downforce applied, the grease will travel into the piston strike chamber. This excess grease can be forced through the lower oil seals. Oil leakage down the tool will result. Once positioned, turn off the machine and proceed to manually grease the hammer until the grease begins to come out around the lower bushing. NPK recommends a lithium soap base EP NLGI No. 2 grease with wear inhibiting additives. A high drop point 500 degree Fahrenheit grease is desirable. To determine how often a hammer needs greased, run the freshly greased hammer until the shank of the tool starts to look dry. Typically, this is one to four hours. Note how much time passed from the fresh grease to the dry condition. Also, note the amount of grease needed to re-grease the tool. This would establish the greasing schedule for this particular application. If a grease schedule is not applied, then the hammer should be greased once per hour. The nitrogen gas pressure should be checked every 100 hours or when a change in hammer performance is noticed. Install the charge valve found in the NPK charge kit to the fitting found on the hammer gas head. Be sure to tighten the cap on the charge valve. Turn the T-handle clockwise until a resistance is felt and continue to turn the T-handle until a pressure is seen on the charge valve gauge. Compare the gauge pressure with the nitrogen gas pre-charge chart found in the lid of the charge kit as well as the operator's manual. If the gas is 25 PSI below the specification, it needs to be recharged. If the gas is 25 PSI above the specification, it needs to be discharged. Refer to the operator's manual for nitrogen charging instructions. If the nitrogen charge drops more than 25 PSI in a 24-hour period, this indicates a gas leak. If the nitrogen charge rises more than 25 PSI in a 24-hour period, this may indicate an internal oil leak into the gas chamber. Travel limiters are installed to protect the rubber mounts from overflexing due to excessive carrier downforce. Check the travel limiter gap by measuring the gap between the nylon stop and gas head as shown here. If the gap is wider than maximum, the travel limiter must be shimmed. Shim sets are available through NPK parts. Thank you for tuning into this video about routine inspections. Please check out one of our other service instructionals.